There's a dynamite box wedged in there. It looks like an old one, doesn't it? So this is what we have here. I don't know exactly what do we have. We're kind of up in the top of these square sets. Should we try and get a little lower? I don't know. I can't see much of anything. Okay, here's Julie climbing the square sets. She's a trooper. She's hanging in there. Now watch out there because I'm not sure exactly what you're walking on, but I would get somewhere. This is the lower haulage that we've kind of been trying to get to all day. Now whether we can get down there or not, I don't know. And back up, but we're going to try. Okay, here comes Julie down the rest of the square sets to the level. Where is she? your feet. Good job old girl you made it down here. Don't do that though. Oh you, you just got your sling. Hold on I'll come rescue you. Okay we hit the lower haulage level from where we were and we're taking a right. We climbed down through those square sets which was pretty cool I gotta say. Oops. Coming through those square sets is pretty neat. Oh, it's nice and cold down here too. What's all this stuff? There's an old ladder caved in from somewhere. Ooh, a door. A door. Everybody likes a door in a mine, don't they? Yeah. I wonder what years this part was worked. Look at the chair. Wow, I wonder what that was for. That is cool, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> There were electric lights in here. This almost smells like an equipment room of some sort. But what would it be? Here's an old box. I don't know what this is. Oh, nuts. Nuts or rivets. Why does this seem like it's a, or is this an explosives room? Probably is. Because it's probably covered here. Was this a fuse room? There was a wall here. What goes on over here? Hmm. Oh, that's that big hole that we were looking down that had we slept when we were in that big room, we would have ended up down here. Okay. All right, let's give this a little more looking over here. Yeah, this was blocked off here at one time. Let's look at some of these boxes and stuff. So there's a clean gauze package. One square yard for when the rock falls on your finger. <laughs> what else you got down there? What's that red thing? Hershey. Oh. Yeah, Hershey bars have been around a long time. I don't know that. Okay, let's look around. There's a matchbook there, but we couldn't read it. It's too far gone. Okay, here's something pretty cool. Ricardo's a matchbook. What is it? A little Mexican with a doing taking yeah, a siesta? A cactus. Okay, what's the other side say? Featuring Spanish foods, 
dancing piano bar cocktail lounge. Where is it? It's in Bishop. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a baby Ruth package. Five cents, right? Yep. Does that say? It says Curtis's. Yeah, Curtis's baby Ruth. Here's another candy bar wrapper. I've never heard of this thing. Love Nest candy bar. Anybody ever heard of that? See, you can see the nest. You see a love here yeah, but, and then the nest. Yeah, show the nest. Love Nest. Here's another one from a, uh, like a cream flip. 12 cents, Langendorf, quality Langendorf cream flip with a girl on there, 12 cents. There's something up there. Let's look at that. Good eye, huh? Mm -hmm. Like an orange juice bottle, isn't it? Yeah. So here's an orange juice bottle. La Habra Cold Gold Company, orange juice, and it's a looks like a quart. Yeah, it's it's got embossed orange juice. And orange juice, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving the room. Some cool smalls in there. Those candy wrappers. I've never heard of Love Nest candy anyway. That's pretty awesome. Okay, this is about, back about where we came from, where we came down through the through the uh, square sets. There's a can right here. It looks like an old Coors can, an old one. Oh yeah. Look, they open it with a knife. Who drinks beer out of that little hole? How can you chug it? <laughs> Tours. Tours. That's pretty neat. That's an oldie. Yeah. Okay, moving past the square sets. Oh boy, I see something over here that looks interesting. Wow, look at the size of that tank. Wow. Cool. Let's get out of here because that doesn't look too sturdy right there. But this tank looks pretty cool. Wow, man, that's a big tank. This thing is huge. And there's a big uh, steel stake on top. So, this was on a kind of a skid, a metal skid. I don't know, I'm guessing water. Look at the size of that thing, though. Go back down here once. Piece off how far that is. It's got to be 12 feet long, isn't it? Yep, 12 feet by about mm, about a four foot diameter. That's really something. Okay, the tank was super cool. We're gonna do the right hand rule. We've come to a huge haulage here. And this is the old one that you can't really get into anymore easily. What brand? Tropicana. Oh, it's an old Tropicana. Grapefruit. Yeah, look at her on there. Is that a woman? Yeah, it's a woman with a fruit on her head. <laughs> oh. Okay, right hand rule. We've taken off down this thing. This is, I got a feeling, is a much older part of the mine, and it's very big too. This, this might have been a little bigger haulage. Let's see what we have down here. There have been tires in here. I saw tire tread. Here's a big area that's got a, some um, pillars. 
And some more timbering. Oh wow. This place is crazy. Huge shoot here. Let's keep moving, see what we find in here. There's part of an old vent pipe. That's too light to be water. Oh, maybe not. That might have been a water pipe. It's fairly heavy, heavier than I thought it was. Look how old these timbers are. I don't know if that's broken or what. I guess it's just can't cantilevered like that, isn't it? Yeah, that was water pipe. Here's a big spool of something. An empty spool, I should say. Cable, something wire and cable. All right, let's see what we have here. Big mound. Keep going. All right. I'll be right behind you. I wonder where this came from. Well, that's a large mound. I see more wood up here. Well, what have we got ourselves into? Tumbleweeds, this must be close to the outside. Wow. That's an old door. This is an old door that's caved. Let's go this way first, see what's behind this door. Smells like wood. Look at the size of that door. What's back there? No, it's a collapse. Are you scared? Well, I didn't know what's behind the big door. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not much, is it? Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, that's it. That's as far as we're going. You know, this might be by the portal. Because there was a portal out here that was collapsed in between those tumbleweeds and this cave right here I know exactly where this is outside this mine and then this would have been the big entrance door so yeah we're right up to that portal I was I was looking at trying to dig that one out the other day and not necessarily dig it out but it's just assessing it and uh, that's where we are Bacardi? No, I don't know what it is. I it looked like a Bacardi bottle. Let's see what you got there. Petri? P E T R I? California? Toke? Is it wine? Wineries. Huh, Petri. At Petri? Petri? Escalon, California. Escalon. Pure grape wine. There you 20%. go. 20%. How much? 20%. Could use a little bit of that right now, huh? Okay, okay do you want to go this way? Oh boy. 
there. A ladder to nowhere. That's exactly what it is. Look up. Okay. Well, this isn't so stable here, is it? I don't think you need to go any further than right there. Because I can see that it's... Collapsed. Yep. That's a major cave right there. I'll go take a look just to make sure. Julie's going to stay back there. Sliced peaches. Another ladder to nowhere. Why would they have these short ladders? It just goes to the top of these big chutes. That's looking up the chute. Here's this. Well, I don't know. That might go through, but... A little bucket down in there. So, that's pretty well caved right there. Uh, it does go up into a stope above there. So something must have come down out of that stope and smashed this down. There are some cool low counts there. And they even use a dynamite box to cover up the old load counts to make new load counts. They even used the spreader up top to to uh, use some for, for some load counts. Alright, let's go back to the main haulage and go up the other way. Here's another cross cut it looks like. Got that water pipe jammed up in there. Hey, it's Burgermeister. Another Burgermeister. We had a short one or a tall one of those the other day. There you go. Burgie, as people were calling it. Look at what are these things that that that, that was sitting on? I don't know, like a rack. Yeah. Um, your can is on one of the numbers. It was three, six. Seven. Huh. Somebody's coat rack. Maybe a coat rack. Another Burgermeister can. Ooh, what's this big box back here? It stops here, but there's a big. Oh, this was a. Um, this was a spool holder that would hold the spool, you'd put a shaft through the the spool and let it run on this and then it would uh, you could play out what you needed for the cable or fuse or whatever that's pretty neat and there was another there was another uh, blasting cap box back there too like we've seen so another Burgermeister I guess that was cheap beer according to everybody who was commenting about it alright guys here's another rickety ladder I'm not going to be taking this one today, but I wanted you to see it. This one is a uh, two by six on one side and not much left of a two by six on the other. So there's another ladder down there, but these aren't connected and this thing's just sitting there. Uh, weird little stall. So I'm not going to be taking that. Let's go straight ahead there and look if there's anything in the back of this. Well, there are a pair of rubber wingtip steel-toed boots well there's about a half or more box of dynamite I can't quite read the brand of it Unigel it looks like it's not in the greatest shape so I'm staying away from it here are the boots rubber steel-toed Okay, we're going on this little excursion here to the right. 
as we were coming down that main haulage. Quite a bit of oil around here and a greasy smell. And a big bridge here with a curved track. Solid? Looks solid. Oh, you don't want to go down there. I wonder what the rope's for. All right, well, let's see where this goes. We're not trying to get lost. This is kind of paralleling the main haulage. Oh boy, another switch here. Junction, I should say, and a switch. Oh, yeah. Lots of box parts. Oh, yeah, look at the box parts. Look at all the dynamite box parts. I could become a box builder. These are all kind of beat up, but. Watch that last step. Yowza! Oh Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I don't even like standing where you are. It feels like this is undercut. It does. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That like gives you the right. willies in your yeah. stomach. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> it makes it tingle, doesn't it? Yeah. Remember where we came from, now, don't you? Mm -hmm. Man, this is a real maze in here. That just stops there. Look at that big stove. Stay together. And that huge pillar right in the middle of it. Look at that thing. That pillar's probably 50 feet away from us at least. And that's got to be 12 feet wide, doesn't it? Yeah. This is taking it right out of that stove. That huge stove. This is one wild mine, isn't it? Yeah. Watch it now. Another big stove. Look at the size of this thing. Jesus. Wow. It's crazy. Oh man, there's a ladder down there too. Check this bad boy out. Is that made out of a piece of, that's made out of a piece of uh, square stock. Is that homemade? Let's look at this. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's home hand forged, isn't it? Yeah. Big nail puller on one side and a scaling bar on the other side. Or a pry bar. But look at the size of that thing. That's big, isn't it? Yeah, it's really heavy. All right, that was a cool uh, pry bar, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, that looks like we're going into that big stove. Look at the big hitch here. And then a big hoop made out of a piece of real steel. RS 410 RS 
That's probably one of those other, let's remember that 410 RS. Okay. okay, we're coming back out of that area. The big stove. Man, you can really get sidetracked in this one. I just took one little detour off the main line and we ended up here about an hour later. Way back in these huge stopes. A maze of track going all different directions. We better backtrack before we forget where we're going. Okay, here we are back to this deal. Heavy duty bridge over a huge abyss. We didn't go this way, did we? Oh wow, look at this. That's a huge wheel. Wow. Or is that a is that a drum? Is that a cable drum? Okay, we took it right across the bridge. Past that big wheel. That's a big sucker. Kind of jumbled up in here, isn't it? Oh look, this was a track switch. This was a lever switch. Right here. Yeah? Oh yeah, neat. Yeah, that looks a little beat up. And this is caved here. This is definitely an older part of the mine. See any ore cars in there? Mm. Go just a little ways. I don't know where all this stuff came from. It's really rotten. Looks like it's all, it was all just the timbering for this this uh, added here, but it's all rotted and caved. So I don't think I'll be going there. I don't see any ore cars back in there. Okay, here we are back to this spot where the bridge is down there on the wheel. Let's see where this goes. I don't expect you guys to figure out which directions we're going all the way all we're the time. We're doing good here. if we can. Yeah, we're doing good if we can. This was a table here of some sort. This is back to the main line, I think. Yeah. This is back to the main line, although I don't know exactly where. Where's our... Uh, where, oh, we're right here. Yeah, see, we went in right here about, I don't know, like a half an hour ago. We went right in here. So we got to go behind us. All right, let's hustle back to our square sets. And we still haven't explored it on the other side of them. Okay, here we are back to the tank and the square sets. That's the way we access this level. And right across from it is something here. Might as well check it out. Yep. Another door. Oh, wow. Another door. Alright, I came past that cage and it looks like it's jammed up not terribly far ahead of me and this way that kind of goes back up towards the level we came down from. Here's this cage. I don't know what this was for. I think they would put you in here if you're sloughing off on the job. Actually it's got a concrete um, tub type of thing so don't know what it was why would it have a waterproof concrete tub around it I 
There were some rollers there. Okay, came back from that cage. I'm glad I didn't see a dead body chained up in there. Held hostage because they wouldn't run their rocks drill faster. That's where we came from. Let's go this way. What is that? It's rubber. Piece of tire rubber on a string or a rope. This mine's gonna wear me out. We were gonna go to another one after this, but I don't think so. Let's look this way. What's this way? Holy buckets, look at how far that goes. Let's go that way. Yeah, let's see what we find. It goes that way as far as I can see too. This is the main line that I'm looking down now. So this would be a left. So, so when we come, I'm all. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that was the mall. Let's look around the mall a little bit. There's some Pennzoil. A Pennzoil box, I should say. Um, Oh, well, the heavy timber's up top here. We're still going past the mall. I feel a cool breeze. See what's jammed up in here. There's a uh, a bunch of cable and a hook tool. Can you grab that? Something to hook something with, huh? Mm. The hoop for a handle. Oh, here's an old car jack. What's that doing in here? Well, it does go further that way, but there's a big drop right here, and we can't get past that. So let's backtrack through the mall, and we'll continue down the main line. Here we are back at the mall. Look at the size of those timbers up there. Wow, those planks are huge. Okay, here's a piece of one of these planks. Let's measure this thing. Two, Two and, and three, three quarters. quarters. Bye. Eleven and three quarters. So Two and three quarters by eleven and three quarters. So basically a three by twelve. That's what all these are up here. They're just unbelievably heavy duty. Uh, let's measure one of these two. Just this one. Seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. All right, here we are. Past the mall, back to the main line. Let's take a left. We already went that way, didn't we? Oh, oh no, this well that well that's the way we haven't gone yet. But this is another door. I thought this was that last door that we went through with the cage in it. There's just another one. Oh. Yeah, no cage in this one. Uh, I don't know what this was. Okay, I just came through that little door there. There's a, a what you call it, box. Blasting cap. Andrew, keep on. I feel a lot of air pulling through here, but it doesn't look too exciting. So 
This could have been a fuse table here, I'm guessing, because of the size of this little room and the way it is. Okay, there's a... What is that cage that you're by? I have no idea. And there's a spool behind her, a big spool, isn't it? Yeah. That would be a big cable spool. Okay, this is the end of this main line. It comes to a big uh, stope again. Huge open cavern. The water pipes go across it, and I'm assuming the other one might be an airline. There's a little ladder down there, but... Okay, that's where we've come from. The tank is just right up there. The main line is over that way. We're taking a little side spur up this way. Just to see where it goes. Huge chute, huh? This is more of this 3 by material. Oh, and a ladder. Yeah, it's blocked. It is. Well, I don't see it being blocked here. Okay. It stops at a certain point, but it might switch over. Might be flights, you know? Oh, yeah. It'd be nice to find a ladder to go up because we kind of took kind of the hard way down here and to climb up through that square set. Looks like the end of the road here. Tipperillo by Robert Burns. There he is down here. Here we are back to the main. This was some kind of a Blocker. What's this? That looks like a core sample. Iamco. Look at the old Iamco parts box. That's pretty cool. That's what the old Iamco 12B mucker we saw. Uh, well, there's that big spool. There's some big shoots too, wow. These things are big, aren't they? Yeah. They are heavy duty. I feel air, big air. Don't you? Yeah. Look at the size of that spool. Yeah. How'd they get that thing all the way down here? That must have been a big cable roll. Oh man, what's all this? Look at that heavy duty box. Wow. There's air coming from somewhere. Yeah, there is. I wonder why this is braced in this fashion. Oh well. Let's go this way. The air feels good anyway. Nice to breathe fresh air. Versus stale dust. Oh boy. Are we in the main line? No. Did the main line end yet? We haven't found the end of the main line? I don't think so. Wow. Here's a metal gate. This just stops that way about 40 feet. That's a heavy duty gate, isn't it? I wonder if that was pneumatically operated. I don't see a piston on it. Interesting though. Wow, 
cold breeze. Another big stove. Look at what's slabbed off over there. Those big chunks right there come off of right there. Be careful. Tighten up your heart hat. for about two more blocks before something happened here. Oh, here's a, uh, this is a parts shelf. Looks like it. Sure enough, no parts left. Oh, there's a glove. Yeah, there are a lot of gloves. Here's the uh, insulator. Parts are getting a little slim there, guys. Better have the purchaser order a few parts for your IMCO. Somebody's lunchbox. It got smashed. Let's set that on top of it if you can. Somebody's lunchbox. Somebody's lunchbox got beat up. All right. I hope the guy got his lunch out of there before the box got smashed. Your sandwich will be pulverized. Looks like that's the end of this one. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't originally, but it's caved or backfilled now. I'm way too tired to start digging. I wonder where this is. Yep, that's uh, it's open a little bit there at top, but this mine's too big. To see it all at once so there's no use in digging that. Well we're in a big stove again. There's a sample box. I don't like going out here because it's unstable but I don't know what all this is. It's one huge ass stove though in the Jesus crazy. Yeah go keep going. You guys ought to recognize that name. Okay, I think we're back in the main line. Here's another piece of track. Inch and a half across the top. Two and three quarters on the base. Looks like three eighths on that web again. And this thickness is, let's see, an inch? Yeah. And here is, what that's a? Two, no, one and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Yeah. And the whole, from the base, looks like it's about an inch and a half to the center. Did I skip anything? I don't think so. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed this mine. It's huge and full of artifacts. It was real fun. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.